Hey everyone, Tattooed Simmer back with another build in our tiny town save file. I built this one on stream with a bunch of my friends, so you'll probably see the chat kind of throughout the video, just try and ignore that, I guess. Um, this one is a 64 tile tiny home, um, just built a random box, tried to put some roofs on it, that roof in the back is supposed to be a garage, don't end up liking it, um, just end up scrapping it and using a decoration piece as a sort of carport garage type of thing. Um, I had a lot of people on my stream helping me out with certain ideas, so that was super fun to get some community help throughout this build. Through this series, I'm trying to kind of make all of these houses look similar and match. Um, all of these houses so far are a New Orleans style home, so they're all lifted a little bit. Um, pretty plain exteriors, just your normal average homes. Shouldn't be too difficult if it's something that you're trying to copy or if you're just starting building. These are pretty simple styles of homes um, that I've started with. I'm also just using the base game and Tiny Living to do all of these. So if you want to download them, those are the only two packs that you need. So base game is free right now. And um, if you're looking for a starter pack, Tiny Living is one of my favorite ones. And it's one of the stuff packs, so it's only like $10 or something like that. Uh, I use a lot of things from Tiny Living in a lot of my builds because Tiny Homes are some of my favorites. So I uh, built a little porch on the front, like a little enclosed type of porch you can sit out there. Um, I love putting columns around the corners. I think I've said this before in my videos. Just kind of adds a little bit of depth to your builds. I also like to landscape around the edges of the houses and the edges of the sidewalks. Kind of makes it look a little, a little bit more three D than just the plain, plain uh, terrain paint that's already there. So now I'm just going through, trying to figure out what sort of doors and windows. I want to match. This is just a very classic style home, nothing too fancy. Some might call this a uh, classic blue suburban, but um, whatever you want to call it, it's pretty simple. Tried to put a little more um, pizzazz in it on the outside just to make it not look like a base game home, really. The inside ends up being two bedrooms and a bathroom with living room, kitchen, there's not really a dining room, it's just kind of like a bar area to sit and eat. Tiny homes are always a challenge to fit everything inside. That's kind of the fun part, that's why I like them. I love trying to fit everything you need in a home in a super small space. Um, I've also been putting fences around all of these yards with gates. Um, just just a style that I've been sticking with through this build. I never really put gates or fences in a lot of my builds. I'm not sure why, but I really like it. I also put all these lights um, on the ends of the lamp posts to add a little bit of night lighting. Um, it's easier to add them on the ends of fences to make the ends of fences not look so strange, I think. And also, just you don't have a random light somewhere. I feel like a lot of people have that. They have lights on the end of their fence posts. Now I'm just working on finishing some landscaping. I like to add shelves to um, the top of door entryways or windows. It kind of makes them look like they have a little bit more depth. Now I'm adding some stuff to the little entry patio way. I like to check and see what it looks like from the gallery view, just to see if it looks like people would want to download the build, because that's the whole point, right? So after that, I'm making a little pathway to the backyard. I like to use these little base game rocks as a sort of pathway, and I hate going through debug to find them all the time, so I just have a bunch of them saved in a room and I just re-download the room and and pull it from there. It's a lot easier than going through debug all the time. 
And because I'm on console, I can't download the better build by mod. I wish, wish that I could. It would make my life a lot easier, but this is just kind of a shortcut I found. So if you're a console player and you want a shortcut around looking for things in debug, a lot of people on the gallery have downloaded full rooms full of every expansion pack, every game pack separately of all their debug items. So if you know what it comes from or you just want to look through a single pack specifically, just go to the gallery, type in debug Strangerville, debug get together, debug cottage living, whatever you want. And usually they'll have rooms or just debug trees, debug plants, anything like that. So just a little trick for you. Now we're moving on to the inside of the build. Like I said, it's a two bedroom, one bathroom house. So one bedroom is got a double bed in it, and the other bedroom has just got a single bed in it. Um, just a bathroom with a shower, so no tub in this guy, but got a living room, kitchen, side by side. That's a really, really small living room and kitchen, so I can make it two bedrooms because the other two houses in the neighborhood are only one bedroom, and I was like, I feel like we need space for at least... A family in one of these houses so this little spot over here is the living room and then the kitchen is on the other side of that sometimes I get distracted and realize I don't finish the outsides of things so I have to go back and, and do that in the middle but you just have to just have to bear with me it's, a, it's all part of the process that Base game TV, I probably use in every build sized up because to me it's like the most realistic TV in the game. Um, so I use it all the time. All the time. I love that tiny living sofa also. Comes in a bunch of color swatches. Super cute. Um, since I was going for a New Orleans style theme, in this build, I kind of went with purple, gold, yellowish, Louisiana State colors, just because some of my family are big fans of Louisiana State, so just kind of like a like an homage to them, I guess. Um, this kitchen is super small. This was really hard for me to figure out the layout, how to get a place to sit, a stove, a fridge everything in here and actually have it function right so I ended up having to move the door a little bit to one side you can't really notice um, just to fit the fridge in so you have enough counter space to cook a microwave counter space over here where you can sit and um, do homework and eat and whatever so you can have a computer over there um, really hard to put hobbies in tiny homes just because they're so small and you have to fit all the essential stuff in there but I like to put computers at um, bars or at desks in here just because you can do a lot of different hobbies on a computer um, and then I decided instead of that painting I was just gonna go with shelves and books above the TV um, that was an idea that Witching Mermaid gave me on my stream so thank you to her for that. That was a super, super cool idea. So I just um, took the shelves and moved the regular base game books up and the tiny living books and made a little bookshelf above the TV. And I think that turned out super cute. It's one of my favorite parts of the house, actually. Um, and then the bedrooms, I just kept really simple. I tend to do that with bedrooms. Like, by the time I get done... With the idea for the whole house and building it and landscaping it's like I spend all my effort on that but I try to furnish it and decorate it so that it looks really nice um, it doesn't look like I only spent like 10 minutes on the inside just because bathrooms bore me but hopefully with this new bathroom clutter kit bathrooms will no longer bore me to tears so Maybe in the future we'll see some more intricate bathrooms because we have a lot more stuff to put in there. There isn't just one toothbrush holder and one toilet paper holder and 
nothing to put on the counters. Like, that was just so annoying. Why didn't we have cotton balls or, like, the hair dryer or any of those things? We have a thousand posters I could put on a teenage wall, but only one toothbrush holder for the bathroom. So that's... I was so excited about the bathroom clutter kit. The sentiments kit, don't really care for it just because we know I'm not so much a game player, but I am starting a series soon, hopefully, on my channel, where I will be doing a Let's Play, and I'm super excited about that. I've got the story written, and not really written, the characters written, I guess I should say, so the story will just, whatever happens, happens, and I have the characters, I have it based on one of my favorite shows, and stay tuned for that. Tiny homes are also super, super hard to put closets in, so I like to just use these shelf closets a lot. Um, helps save space in bedrooms where you need a double bed like that, and you can still furnish it. Then the backyard, I just kept real simple, just a little bit more plants, picnic table, trash cans, grill, just your average backyard, and that is pretty much all of this build. Hope you guys are liking this series, and you continue to come back and see more.